Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is kind of crazy. We're, we're here again. <laughs> I should turn my camera around. My mom's dancing in the... In the <laughs> she's telling me not to talk about her. <laughs> That's where I get my trollery from, at least part of it. So, yeah, I guess I should say, first of all, this backdrop, it may look familiar to some of you guys. That's because when I first quit residency, I was in debt. I had my med school and college student loans and my literal only source of income was like YouTube AdSense, which it was making like a thousand dollars per month, definitely not enough to live on my own. So I came back here. Luckily I was able to crash in my mom's house and I stayed here for a year building up med school insiders, building up MEM, working ridiculously long hours. <laughs> Sometimes, I mean, many weeks longer than residency hours and it paid off. And now med school insiders and MEM are both doing well. I'm living on my own. I got my own place and life is good. It seems like a very fitting place to then tell you guys about MEM. This is a one month update. We launched MEM on August 1st. Now it's the end of August. And I want to give you guys an update as to what's happened in this last month. A lot has happened actually. So we're going to split this up into three sections. First, the business performance and growth, how that's been going. Second, the feedback received from customers, from you guys. And then third, the next steps and where we're going on from here. If that sounds good. Stay tuned. All right, let's start with business performance. So there's three of us co-founders, me, Richard, Lewis, and it has exceeded all of our expectations. I was the one who was most ambitious and it has even exceeded mine. So in the last month, we've had several hundred customers, not quite a thousand, but several hundred and both the total number of sales and revenue figures have exceeded our expectations, which we're obviously very happy about. Now, in terms of refunds, it's less than 10%, which is a very good sign. That means that people are generally happy with the product. And in terms of the product mix, we have one month, three month, and six month subscriptions. In terms of the percentage of each, 65%, so almost two thirds go with one month, 20% go with three months, and 15% have gone with six month subscriptions. And about 10% of customers have requested extensions to their subscription, but we expect that number to actually increase quite a bit because no one has reached the end of their subscription yet. Um, again, because we only launched this August 1st, as I'm recording this, it's August 27th. So we still have many people who have yet to reach the end of their subscription and then need an extension. All right, now let's talk about feedback from customers, from you guys. First of all, we are extremely grateful for all your feedback because feedback is what allows us to grow and improve the product continuously. Now we've been grinding hard since August 1st. Our team has been working on fixing bugs, bringing new features, addressing requests, We've been working hard and the product already is much better than it was August 1st. And I already think it was quite a strong product on August 1st. Now at the beginning of the month, my co-founders were a little bit cautious, not quite discouraged, but a little bit, you know, like, hey, what's going on? Because when I released that first video, you know, a lot of people are asking questions, brand new product. You go on Reddit, you find a thread about your new company. And there were a couple people that were saying, oh, just use Anki and review sheets. It's the same thing. And you know, don't waste your money on this mem thing. I mean, this is not my first rodeo, right? I, I know this is just part of building a business. You're gonna get people who, no matter what you do, they just hate you or hate what you're doing unless it's 100% free. You know, they want you to slave away and not take a dime for your hard work. But obviously that, that is kind of concerning when you see that after you've been working really, really hard for over a year on a product doing, you know, market research and then iterating and testing with users and then giving a different prototype and refining that until all your prototype users are very happy and then you think it's ready for the market. But the reality is that whenever you're starting a business, you are gonna get naysayers. No matter what you do, even if you follow every single step of lean startup methodology, which we more or less did, you're gonna have people that it doesn't vibe with and that's okay. Don't be discouraged when you guys are starting your own business. And the same thing more or less happened with Med School Insiders. We've grown super fast. We're now the fastest growing company in the space of Med School Admissions Consulting and Tutoring. And I mean, our satisfaction ratings are leading the industry. In fact, MSI has even been on the receiving end of some targeted attacks from competitors on like Reddit and other social media apps, which I'll probably talk about further in a future video. But it's kind of, on one side it is, 
frustrating. It is like, why do you guys have to do that? That's so unnecessary and so morally wrong. But then on the other hand, it's kind of hilarious that we can so quickly grow and then threaten these established players that have been around for so long and it just validates what we're doing even more. So the lesson is to be wary of all feedback, right? Because feedback is how you grow. The really positive glowing reviews, they're great and they validate and they, they make you feel good because you're helping people, but you don't actually improve your product much from positive feedback. Then you look at the negative feedback and you have the constructive stuff where you can actually improve your product, they're giving you actionable stuff, and then you just have the haters. They're like, oh, you know, keyboard warrior, I hate you and what you stand for. I mean, those ones you disregard, but you don't really know that upfront and there could still be some truth to what they're saying. So my approach is to always be open to all feedback, no matter what it says. But then afterwards, I need to distinguish between that which is valuable and that which is kind of a dead end in terms of what insight it actually offers into my product. All right, so let's go over some of the positive feedback first. I selected three that we did not solicit. So we did ask some other users, hey, can you provide us a testimonial or you know something about your experience? These three users, we did not do that, but they just sent us a message like unprompted. Okay, first one. I am writing this email to inform you of my approval of MEM. I feel that it has tremendously helped me with remembering the things that I need to know for the MCAT in a very organized way. I've been doing Anki for a couple months and I feel that I was able to reinforce my topics much better by using MEM since I can connect several ideas together. If you need someone to write a formal review or anything, please let me know. I would be more than happy to help. So the second customer we provided an extension for and then he responded to the extension confirmation email with this. Thank you. My only regret is that I didn't start using MEM earlier. I've abandoned all my other study materials and have been using this exclusively since its rollout. You've managed to cut out all the time-wasting fluff and have only included the highest yielding material. The spaced learning with flashcards really works. Excellent job. And the third one, I really appreciate your flashcards. Honestly, this really helped me out tremendously. I cannot even put into words how grateful I am for this program. You guys are such a great company. I wish you guys the best of luck in expanding your program to offer flashcards for step one and two and any other medical school exams. I will definitely be using you guys in the future if those come out. Now that obviously felt really good to hear because we're in the business of helping students study more effectively for the MCAT and that kind of validates all the work that we've been doing. Now in terms of the negative or constructive feedback, we also got a handful and we compiled it in different categories and used that to then extract what can we do to improve the product. And we arrived on three main things that we've been working on for the last couple weeks and we'll be rolling out in the very near future. So first is a new and improved search functionality. Before you could only search based on topics, but now we're gonna make it down to the keyword. So if you wanna search a very obscure single word, single term, then it'll actually pull up that review sheet and you can pull it up seamlessly and review the whole section. Second, we're introducing single topic studying. Now, sometimes users want to really target on just one area, one specific topic, apart from the rest of their review cards. And there's two main use cases for this. First, if your test date is approaching quickly and you wanna target that very specific area that you have a weakness in, this will help you do that. And second, if you want really, really fine customizability in your schedule, let's say you're following a pre-made schedule or the schedule created by a test prep company, you can follow it exactly. And last, we're introducing different settings for review intervals. We previously only had a single setting for the space repetition algorithm and the interval settings. That's based on our research as to what is most effective in memory consolidation. However, some users want some customizability and for them, we're adding a toggle so you can decrease the intervals and see your cards again sooner. And there is a fourth big feature that's bigger than all three of those, but I'm gonna save that for a future video when it's closer to being launched. And it's been an awesome journey. I am super excited about MEM. I think the beginning of starting a business is so exciting and so fun and so rewarding. And I think the reason is because as I've spoken before, helping others and learning new things are two of the most fulfilling and rewarding things that you can do. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, check out my MEM video where I'm answering your questions about how MEM came to be, what it's about, all that good stuff. And I also have a playlist on being an entrepreneur, on starting three med ed and med tech businesses and the lessons I've learned.